ராமானுஜதயாபாத்திரம் ஞான வைராகிய பூஷணம் ஸ்ரீமத் வேங்கடநாதாரியம் வந்தே வேதாந்த தேசிகம் லக்ஷ்மிநாத சமாரம்பாம் நாதையா முனமத்தியமாம் அஸ்மதாச்சாரிய பரியந்தாம் வந்தே குரு பரம்பராம் யோ நித்தியம் அச்சுத பதாம்புஜ யுக்மருக்ம வியாமோஹத ஸ்தலிதராணி திருணாயமேனே அஸ்மத்குரோர் பகவதோசிய தயைக சிந்தோஹோ ராமானுஜசிய சரணோ ஷரணம் பிரபத்யே மாதா பிதா யுவதயஸ்தனையா விபூதி சர்வம் எதேவ நியமேன மதன்வயானாம் ஆத்திய குலபதேர் வகுளாபிராமம் ஸ்ரீமத் ததங்கிரியுகளம் பிரணமாமி மூர்தனா பூதம் சரஸ்ச மகதாபய பட்டநாத ஸ்ரீபக்திசார குலசேகர யோகிவாகான் பக்தாங்கிரிரேணு பரகால யதீந்திரமிஸ்ரான் ஸ்ரீமத் பராங்குஷமுனிம் பிரணதோஸ்மி நித்தியம் நாராயணம் நமஸ்கிருத்திய நரஞ்சைவ நரோத்தமம் தேவீம் சரஸ்வதீம் வியாசம் ததோ ஜயம் உதீரயேத் வியாசம் வசிஷ்ட நப்தாரம் சக்தே பௌத்திரம் அகல்மஷம் பராசராத்மஜம் வந்தே சுகதாத்தம் தபோநிதிம் வியாசாய விஷ்ணுபாய வியாசரூபாய விஷ்ணவே நமோ வைஃப் பிரம்மநிதயே வாசிஷ்டாய நமோ நம அச்சதுர்வதனோர் பிரம்மா விவாகுர் அபரோஹரி அபால லோச்சன சம்பு பகவான் பாதராயண யோகோஷதம் கனகசிருங்கமயம் ததாதி விப்பிராய வேத விருஷே சபுஷ்ருதாய புண்ணியாச்ச பாரதகாம் சுனியாச்ச நித்தியம் துல்லியம் பவதி தசியச்சைவ பாராசர்யவச்சுதாம் சுமனசா துக்தாபி மத்தியோதாம் சம்சாராஜி விதீபன வியபகத பிராணாத்ம சஞ்சீவனி பூர்வாச்சாரிய சுரட்சிதாம் பகுமதிம் வியாகாத தூரஸ்திதாம் ஆனீதாம் து நிஜாட்சரை சுமனசா பௌமா பிபந்தன்வம் நிகமகல்பதரோஹோ கலிதம் பலம் சுகமுகாத் அமிர்தவ சயுதம் பிபத பாகவத ரசமாலயம் முகுரஹோ ரசிகா புவி பாவுகா சாந்திரோதாத்மகமனுபமிதம் காலதேஷாவதிமுக்தேண நிர்ஸ்யமான அஸ்பம் திருஷ்டமாத்ரேனுஷாத்மக்கம் பிரம்மதம் ஜனாஜோதரோபனீயம் பீயூஷா பிளவிதோஹம் ரம்யம் பரம சுகரசாஸ்வாதம் நாரதி விலசரூபனிஷத் சுந்தரி மண்டலைஷாஹுவந்தேனோஜ்வலவலயோணபாணி பிரவாளேனோபா வேணுன பிரசுதனகமயோகாங்குலீசங்கிவிக்கசராகமுவியமான ீந்திராணாங்கேஷ்வதிகசுமதுரம் பக்தான் காமவசியுதருக்கிசலயம் 
नाथते पादमूलम नित्यम चित्तस्थित मे पवन पुरपति कृष्ण कारुण्य सिंधो कृष्ण कारुण्य सिंधो कृत्वा निशेषतापन प्रदिशत परमानंद संदोह लक्ष्मी अज्ञातवाते महत्वम यदि है निगदितम विश्वनाथ अक्षमेता स्तोत्रम चैतत सहस्रोत्तरम अधिकतरम त्वत्प्रसादाय भूयात वेदानारायणीयम श्रुति शुचा जनुषस्तुत्यता वर्णने न स्पीतम लीला वतारे रिदमिता कुरुता आयुरारोग्य सौख्यम आयुरारोग्य सौख्यम जानकी कांत स्मरणम गोपिका जीवन स्मरणम With the abundant blessings of Paramatma, the benign grace of the Divya Dampati, the Arbars and the Acharyas, we are on day three of Srimad Bhagavata Saptaham. Saptaham also has a kramam of explaining the Mahatmyam at the beginning. It is called Bhagavata Mahatmyam. Which is not found in Bhagavatam, obviously, because the greatness of Bhagavatam has to come in another Purana. So there, a devotee called Atma Deva is mentioned. One of his sons, who was a devout, is mentioned. He was called Gokarna, and the untimely death of his brother Dundukari is also mentioned. And how towards the end of it. The reading, the recitation, and the listening of Shrimad Bhagavatam cleanses one of the Purva Janma Kritam Papam is also mentioned. This is where, since the topic of Papam and Namam comes, yesterday we did towards the end speak about Ajamelo Pakhyan, the importance of a name. How important it is, and so on. Often we hear, and there are verses which say, "In Kali Yuga, Nama Sankirtanam is the way to get one cleansed of sins." It is correct because Puranam states, Arvar also states, "Keshava yenne kedu midara yavellam kedu." So he does make mention that if you utter the name Keshava. All the sins are gone away, but then there was a counter question raised to the Arva. You you do as many sins as possible. Then finally you say, please forgive me. I've uttered the name Keshava. It doesn't have a logical explanation. Then anybody who even throws a bomb will say, okay, finally Keshava, and then the problem will go away, right? So what is the logic that you have? Ask the person to Arva. Arva said, see if there is a cave. There's been no source of light in the cave premises, and maybe after a thousand years, a person who spots this cave carries a beautiful lamp that is going to dispel the light from the lamp is going to dispel the darkness. But the darkness has been there for thousand years. Will the darkness say, "See, I've been here for thousand years. How is light coming?" So even if the light comes for a second, it has the ability to take away the darkness which has been housed there for thousand years. Similarly, all the sins that you have accumulated can go away by uttering the name Keshava. Is the reason given? This is one for Nama Sankirtan. But in the Vedanta Sampradayam, while all Acharyas who have studied the Prasthanatrayam, see at the end of the day. Prasthanatrayam is what gives identity to a school of philosophy, whether it is Advaita, 
as nourished and propagated by Adi Shankara, Maya Visishta Advaita, or Guna Visishta Advaita as given by Bhagavad Ramanuja, or Dvaita philosophy, Tattvavada philosophy by Purna Pragya, or Ananda Deetha, or Madhvacharya. They all base their philosophy on the commentaries to the Prasthanatraya. So there has to be some logic and you have to derive. So what they say is very nuanced in approach. I'll get to that answer and then I will get into Bhagavatam. There are six questions asked, if you remember. Kimi ekam devatam loke. Imvap ekam parayanam. Stuvantah kam kamarchantaha prapnayur manavaha shubham. Ko dharma sarva dharmanam bhavatav paramo mataha. Kim japan mucchate jantur janma samsara bandhana. Six questions. It is called shat prashni. Six questions asked by dharmaraja yudhishthira to bhishma acharya who was in the bed of arrows sharatalpagato bhishma so the commentators have said the six questions can be grouped into two the first two is upeyam related upeyam means your destination the next four question number three four five six is upayam related the means to reach the destination so first two are upayam next four is upayam so in the last question he asks kim japan mucchate jantur so for which parashara bhatta says this is salambano payam which is japam what does that imply for example say that i've been leading a nice life uh, what a to b i go you've seen a to b their dry fruit alva they say is very good so and for the dosa they give two three chutneys and then there is Saravana Bhava Venmo Tiruman Devam. We have such nice bhojanalayams all around. Good food they make out of sheer love for all the jivatmas like us. But one day, while I'm seated and having that dosa with the chutney, I find somebody seated in the next seat. And then after looking at my Pundram, he says, sir, wh where are you from? Immediately we start connecting, we share our coordinates, we give our numbers. Day one gone. Day three, there is a message from that person. Today we are going to Bhagavata Saptaha. Are you coming? <laughs> that is why Shastram says, how will you get in association with devotees? Ishwarasya cha sauhardam. There are six reasons. Yadrucha sukritam. Vishnoho kataksham. Advesham. Abhimukyam cha satvikaihi. Sambhashanam shadetani. Acharyaha prapti hetavaha. How will you get in touch with someone who's going to, you know, give us some knowledge, some tidbits, put for thought? So six reasons. Ishwarasya cha sauhardam. It seems because of the general nature of the Lord, He will try to bring the best people together. Ishvarasya cha sauhardam. Second, yadrucha sukrutam. You have not wished. It happens as is. Yadrucha. Icha is wish. Yadrucha. You have not wished, but it happens. So this yadruchaya, aruroha yadruchaya in Ramayana comes twice. When Shurpanaka comes and Kaikei Mantara comes, uh, here is Valmiki who says, Aruroha Yadrichaya. They came unexpectedly. Nobody wanted them to come. It just happened. Yadrichaya in Tamil is Yadrichaya. We say that, right? Yadrichaya. That is Yadrichaya. So Yadrichaya Sukrutam. Yadrichaya Sukrutam is we are seated in that Saravana Bhavan. Somebody takes our number. The day after tomorrow, he says, Please come to the Bhagavata Sattam. We didn't expect. That is how Bhagavata Samagamam will happen. It, it won't happen in a pre-programmed format. Oh, when you're being born on earth in 2023, in the beautiful 24th of May, this will happen. Nothing like that. Yadricha Sukrita. Vishnur Kataksham. By the grace of Vishnu. Abhimukyam cha satvikaihi. Maybe we have been blessed by good friends. That is why Abhirama Bhattar says, Ninjil Vanjamilla Inam Tarum. We should have friends who think good for us. Then Advesham, simple. 
you don't show disgust towards anybody good things will happen sambhashanam through good discussion in kora wikipedia sambhashanam shadetami acharya prapti hetara so suppose for example i get to have an association with two devotees who say do nama sankirtanam i knew nothing because from the start itself i can't do paduka sahasram lakshmi sahasram i start with nama sankirtanam i either do hare rama hare krishna mantram or i do some other bhajan so what will happen is eventually as i keep doing these bhajans one day another person will say let us understand bhagavatam better can we attend classes then we will start attending then eventually we will start going deep into the philosophy in bhagavatam if it says janma adyasya yato anvayat itaratas charthe svabhigya swarat janma adyasya yataha means it is a brahma sutra so i will say can i understand brahma sutra is there somebody to teach me immediately that person will say now only that zoom classes have begun please join us then i join those classes then i will understand the concept of jivatma paramatma the means for the jivatma to reach paramatma then i will eventually do a brahma vidya either i will do uh, purushottama vidya i will do dahara vidya antaraditya vidya either bhakti yogam or sharanagati and then i attain moksha now if you see the process nama sankirtanam was the trigger that brought me on the right track then eventually processes one after the other will lead and finally by god's grace we may get moksha now a person who sees this from a distance what will he say nama sankirtanam gave him moksha which is correct but if you go for a nuanced approach you will know if nama sankirtanam doesn't lead you to brahma vidya then there is no moksha it has to lead you to brahma vidya so if great mahan say nama sankirtanam is important it is correct 100% correct but it should not stop only with nama sankirtanam it should go one step after the other and there should be atma sakshatkaram without understanding atma sakshatkaram shastram says there is no moksha jnanan moksha that jnanam should come that said i have to start somewhere where i have left right i i where did we leave saravana bhavan <laughs> at least I'll call them as a sponsor next time i'm <laughs> taking their name so many times huh? so there used to be bhojanalayams even during the times of mahabharata how we have a mention of this in shri mahabharata and that has a connection with tripura samharam today i told you remember yesterday i'll start with tripura samharam and then go to nasimhavataram in the saptamaskandam towards the end there is tripura samharam what is this incident in mahabharatam you all know that kunti was married to pandu in a few days after their marriage he said i have been ordered to go to madradesham to fight he fought and when he returned he returned with the princess of madradesh she was called madri kunti thought he i thought he has gone on some tour marketing tour for 3 days by the time he has returned he has returned with an other wife she was upset something which was more upsetting was there was a shapam pronounced on pandu that he shall not be able to birth children the normal way natural way that said kunti said i have been blessed by the devatas that if i do a mantra uchcharanam that devata will come and give me a child of course there are debates about how those children were born let's keep that for a side so she invoked dharma devata because she already had done the rehearsal once the rehearsal is over now this is practical so she invoked dharma devata yudhishthira was born she invoked vayu bhima was born she invoked indra arjuna was born now madri was looking very sad because she didn't know the mantra she went and told her husband please get that mantra you know in examination you can copy from your friend so she said please ask kunti kunti said okay if she is asking pandu ji i will give but she has to make use of the mantra only once because she was worried if she perennially uses the mantra her children may be more in number than hers so only once you have to use but madri was very smart she she invoked ashwini devatas ashwini devatas are always twins so she had nakula sahadeva 
eventually this madri and uh, pandu also died so kunti was coaxed with the responsibility of taking care of five of the children she turned a widow and she took all these children home from a very young age dakula sahadeva though they were showered with love by kunti they always had a feeling see krish the pandavas that is yudhishthira bhima and um, arjuna's cousin krishna comes and helps them for me nobody comes that is their thought before the mahabharata yuddham began they called their uncle for help shalya he was very very strong with his army on the way the soldiers felt very hungry so they found one bhojanalaya but there was no name in that bhojanalaya it was just some daba so they got inside that and all of them were covered with their faces only eyes were seen why are you all covered we have just returned from middle east so we are covered with our faces so we can't take that on the winds they said and they started serving them in the thali uh, there was uh, uh, dal bati churma uh, so, uh, 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 chapati all that they served now you may ask was chapati there because you know if we don't speak of such things suddenly they will say bahadur shah zafar only taught chapati to india before that before britishers came indians did not wear dress they were all loitering you know we if we don't project our history right others will write our history so wheat existed in india because there is a concept that people from the middle east came with wheat no in chamakam after we do rudram goduma chame there is a goduma chamaka mantram in chamam so we invoke goduma we invoke wheat so they were served with food finally after they were served with food shalya said wonderful food that feedback book was given he has to rate one out of what out of five he has to give that points met expectations exceeded expectations then he said you have all done a wonderful job please reveal your faces they revealed it was shakuni duryodhana dushyasana and so on these people have come to join pandavas army but there is a rule in yuddham if you eat the food of one party you have to be loyal to them so this was shakuni's plan to induct them in their team so the see in companies also they will ask you to sign a contract that if you are leave for joining some other job within this period you have to return so much of your salary and all of that there will be a contract so here shalya was told that you have to be on our side shalya got very upset because nakula and sahadeva were waiting for this opportunity where relatives from their side can be of some help they message shalya message nakul sahadeva i can't come now because i have joined kauravas they felt very bad they blocked him whereas krishna was there on their group so krishna said always keep your mobile data on even on their side you will prove beneficial to us don't worry shalya i will inform you when eventually you know after bhishma parva drona parva there was karna parva because karna vowed that till bhishma fights on the battle ground i will not enter when bhishma was put to the bed of arrows karna had to come that is when krishna started telling him shalya do your role well what is your role shalya was a very negative person pessimistic person he was generally his attitude itself was like that if you call him for bhagavatam he naturally the para adhi narasimha the name so always pessimistic so krishna said do your role well that day karna's driver had gone on casually so there was no driver and karna as per mahabharatam has been projected by vyasa as a very jealous person the way surya putra karan ullatil alla ullam when they cry singing super singer my grandmother cries in my house so that way karna has not been projected we have made a hero out of nobody so this karna was always jealous he was jealous of arjuna whatever arjuna had he wanted so arjuna had something unique on the battlefield 
only arjuna's charioteer was more qualified than the rathi see the driver sarathi was more qualified than the rathi so he too wanted a well qualified driver that is when he tells duryodhana duryodhana please find a good driver for me i need a charioteer that is when duryodhana comes to shalya and says shalya i will tell you one story remember the story comes in karna parva and the story is this what duryodhana says is once there were asuras who were the sons of taraka taraka asura was killed by kartikeya see incidentally i started the lecture with sharavana bhava how beautifully it is fitting so kartikeya killed taraka taraka had three sons these sons wanted to be immortal this is the biggest flaw of asuras very hard working people but they won't ask for the correct boon very hard working people but at the end they will lose like you know in those days my acharya and my grandfather used to say south africa as a cricket team they will play very well in the finals they will lose so similarly their asuras they will work really hard towards the end they will lose so they wanted to be immortal brahma said i cannot give immortality that is when they said this we desire three fortresses in three different metals which is gold silver and iron and the only way to vanquish us should be that one arrow should kill all three of us it is technically tough because in analytical geometry if you have two coordinates x1 y1 x2 y2 you can connect with a line if you have x1 y1 x2 y2 x3 y3 and if they are in different places then you have to use the rule of best fit so one arrow can't go but somehow uh, these people convinced brahma that is when the pushya nakshatra was spotted pushya nakshatra was spotted and bhagavan mahadeva rudramurthy he was asked to mount a chariot that had the girth the strength of mother earth the wheels that had the radiance like that of the sun and the moon the horses that neighed akin to the sound of the four vedas and finally they had to get the bow that was made out of the stones found in the meru parvatam and the string was vasuki the arrow was having the power of vishnu and the tip of the arrow was sudarshana tip of the arrow sudarshana how do we know hara pura plosha karana says vedanta deshika hara pura plosha karana everything was ready driver was not there somebody has to take the chariot forward right so that is when vishnu convinced brahma see brahma ji you have created well take some time off and become the charioteer to mahadeva so mahadeva had his own pita that is brahma deva as his charioteer so duryodhana narrates this in karna parva and says shalya see for mahadeva brahma became the charioteer for karna you become the charioteer and takes it. this tripura samharam is featured in the last few adhyayams of bhagavatam vilokya bhagna sankalpam vimanaskam rishadhvaj tadayam bhagavan vishnu stotra payam kalpayat vats aati aasit tada brahma swayam vishnur ayam igauhu pravishya tripuram kale rasakupamrutam papau so then shiva gets into the chariot and hits that arrow strikes the arrow and it goes and hits the tripuras and they burn that is why we say namaste astu bhagavan vishveshwaraya mahadeva yatrayambakaya tripurantakaya so tripura antaka he brings an end to the tripuram now some scholars in the indic sciences opine that this place where this occurred is the mount toba which now has become toba lake in the archipelago nation of indonesia and they say that tripuram is a cosmic event like a volcanic eruption so you have the crust mantle core so when the volcanic eruption happens the we call that magma right it has to come out that lava has to come so it will come like this and the mountain is like this the bhumi is like this so bhumi like this the volcano like this magma comes like this so it looks like a bow and this that comes out looks like an arrow 
So when this eruption happens, the minerals also come out, be it aurum, argentum, and so on. That is why there are a few islands in Indonesia that have this relation. That is why if, how many of you have gone to Bali? There is one Pura called Pura Beseki. Pura Beseki comes from the word Baishaki. Baishaki is Vaishaki. Vaishaki is Vaishakam, which is supposed to be the place where Shanmukha fought against Tarakasura. So this Tripura Samharam also has a relation with the geography that we see around. After mentioning this, here is where Parikshit asks a question. See, every now and then Parikshit will ask question. I, I, I won't have the time to repeat that question. He will keep asking questions. That is why let this be a trigger for you to read Bhagavatam in detail. See, if I do Bhagavatam in Kerala, it's a very unique format. Morning, three hours of Parayanam they will do. Two hours of my Pravachanam. Then two hours of Parayanam. One hour of my Pravachanam. Again, two hours of Parayanam. Three hours of my Pravachanam. In a day, I'll speak for five to six hours. Like that for seven days. 38 to 42 hours, I'll be given time to speak on Bhagavatam. Here we have 7 into 2, 14 hours. And given the nature of this Upanyasaka, who will talk little from Bhagavatam and little from outside Bhagavatam, outside syllabus. So there is very little scope to cover every shloka, but take this as a home assignment. Here, Parikshit asks a question. Sum of Priya Suhrit Brahman. Bhutanam Bhagavan Swayam Indrasya Te Katam Daitya Navadhi Vishamoyatha. Parikshit says, See, I have one question, Shuka. Shuka Brahman asks, What question? Samapriya Suhrid Brahman. When the best friend of my grandfather, who is Krishna, he spoke in Gita saying, Samoham Sarva Bhuteshu. I treat people equally. Whether they are from Texas state, whether they are from a blue state, red state, whether they are from Europe, South America, all that doesn't matter to me. This is what Krishna tells in Gita. Sam of, samoham Sarva Bhuteshu. Whether you follow Sanatana Dharma or not, only if you follow Sanatana Dharma, I'll give moksha. This is not the rule. However, you are wherever you are, you are entitled to moksha. That is why both a John from Scotland, a Hussein from Arabia, a Seshachari Mama from Bismambalam, all are equally entitled for moksha. You don't have to come to one religion, change your name and all of that. Changing your name is for the body because Sanatana Dharma believes in Atma. So Atma is the same. So that said, Krishna says this so beautifully. Parikshit said he speaks so beautifully. Shuka Brahman, but I've heard that he was very affectionate towards Prahlada. But he tore open Hiranyakashipu. A person who says that I'm equal to everyone, will he show such partiality in tree? He should have corrected Hiranyakashipu and said, Hiranyakashipu, don't do like this. Correct yourself. And should have ended. Why did he tear Hiranyakashipu? This is not akin to what he has said. Some of Priya Suhrit Brahman. Bhutanam Bhagavan Swayam Indrasya Te Katam Daitya Navadi Vishamoyatha. Now, there are two ways of answering the question. One, answer the question, or second, telling that this same question was asked by somebody else. Puranam goes the second way, Itihasam goes the first way. If Valmiki has doubts, Narada will answer the question. And then they will clearly describe where Rama was born, how he was born, where he walked, whom he married, who, who was abducted, so on and so forth. That is Itihasam. Puranam works in a different way. For example, listen to this. Parikshit has asked the question to Shuka Brahman. You know what Shuka will answer? First he will say, very good question. See, the art of answering questions is first you have to appreciate the question then the questioner will be so happy they won't listen to what you're saying they'll sit you should appreciate the question so shuka brahman will say very good question parikshit parikshit will feel very happy next he would say the same question what you have posed was asked by the eldest brother of your grandfather, who is Yudhishthira. 
now it will begin okay let's now go to mahabharatam again that is how see there are many story within the story in saptamaskandam now let's go to the pandavas pandavas were to be killed in a palace that was made of inflammable materials it was called lakshagraham but because of vidura's intervention they managed to escape and they reach a gramam called ekachakra as bhima kills baka and then they get into the village the villagers celebrate them a lot at the same time draupadi swayamvaram happens and these men pandavas reach there when none of them were able to lift the dhanush and banam that is when drupada says even brahmanas can participate even if your houses you all live in poverty it's okay i'll get my daughter married to you somehow i'll transfer some shares i will improve your status brahmanas can now participate that is when balarama felt very bad he tells krishna krishna had arjuna been here it would have been so nice so one man walks with the beard krishna says that is arjuna hey that is like dumbledore that is when krishna says you see him minus the beard balarama does hey this is arjun our action king so that is when arjuna comes lifts and then he uh, is married to draupadi the five of them marry then they go back to hastinapur now they are in a very tough situation because arjuna um, yudhishthira and duryodhana refuse to rule together that is when bhishma says it's high time you give away their share of property let them do whatever they want this great king dhritarashtra calls vidura and asks in our entire province which is a waste land that is when he says it is khandava prastham there is a forest infested with thorns and snakes it is called khandava prastham khandava prastham is the current day delhi no i am telling you geographically so he says let us go to khandava prastham that waste land is given to them pandavas feel a lot bad they feel cheated that is when krishna says see for the talented man or the woman they can do anything with this waste land you come with me and krishna and arjuna go on a rampage they burn the dead plants and the shrubs in that gets caught the sun see mahabharata is a huge grantham in that takshaka's son ashwapala gets caught so takshaka wants to take revenge on arjuna nobody knows that takshaka wanted to take revenge on arjuna is what our thought is shakuni alone gets that cctv footage that is why in karna parva he invokes takshaka in the nagastram what karna aimed because the takshaka was aiming to kill arjuna now after this mayasura is called and he is told to construct a beautiful palace in indra uh, kandava prastha indra commands a beautiful palace is constructed indra is the politician of those days see so he says when i have done the job of signing that letter from now onwards kandava prastham should be known by my name so it becomes indra prastham so for this indra prastham a rajasuya yagam is conducted in that rajasuya yagam all the kings have to be invited so a king can either choose to ally with the pandavas or they have to fight the pandavas jarasandha chose to fight and he died at the hands of bhima the other king said we will all join hands with you their relatives the kauravas were called for the grava pravesham which is the rajasuya yagyam so bhishma came shakuni duryodhana dushyasana they all came except dhritarashtra gandhari and kunti everybody else came after the house warming ceremony towards the end of it the agra puja had to be done the first puja that is when they all unanimously voted and said let's do it for the age old man here the long lived man bhishma bhishma refuses to accept this maryada he says see we are all minute fireflies here here is the blazing fire called krishna venerate him so pandavas were elated he said see we were waiting for an opportunity bhishma himself has said so sahadeva come and do agya puja for krishna he happily came with the thali and and with those the rice and the kumkumam and everything and everything was placed while he was about to do the puja stop this 
for a person who has lived the life of lying, dancing with women in the middle of the night, this man gets this reverential treatment, shameless Yudhishthira. They all turned. It was Shishupala, Krishna's own cousin. So he said, this man is an abactor, cattle thief. Does he deserve this treatment? And he started abusing. Balarama got extremely angry. He said, hey, Shishupala. Krishna said, keep quiet. I'm counting. Because he had agreed to pardon 100 mistakes per day. So he was counting. At one point in time, when Shishupala was abusing Krishna, even Duryodhana felt bad. I can't take it. Hey, Shishupal, reduce. Why? So, 99th mistake, 100th mistake when he uttered, they saw that Shishupala's head was thrown and his body was floating like the katapa. It fell. Then that body fell. Immediately they should have said, right, in a grab pravesham, will you do such bloodshed? Nobody opened their mouth because Chakram was still in the air. Nobody opened their mouth. Then after they all left, the forensic department, they all came and they put that chalk outside his body. And after that body was taken, Yudhishthira sat with Narada. He said, sir, I wanted to conduct a simple graha Look at what has turned it out. News articles covered that Shishupala is dead. Blood was strewn everywhere. What is this, sir? Krishna is so loving to us. But why is he so rude to Shishupala? You remember? He said the same question was asked by your grandfather's eldest brother. That is what Narada tells in Bhagavatam. For which Narada tells Yudhishthira, see there are various ways to reach one point, Yudhishthira. Not everybody will take the same point. Gopyaha kamad bhayat kamsaha Dvesha chaidyodayo nripaha Sambandha prishna yasnehat Yuyam bhaktya vayam vibho gopyaha kamat Gopikas trees too attained Krishna but through sheer love Gopyaha kamat See in Rasa Krida we will see when Rasa Krida happened the beetle leaf and the churnam was mixed and the lady Gopika would chew after taking the extract of that, the remaining, she will pass it from one tongue to the other to Krishna. Sir, Rasa Krida. Is this Rasa Krida or Mudalvan? I don't know, but it happened. Gopyaha Kamat. But this is there in Bhagavatam. Sure, sir. Here I have one small suggestion. Our rishis were very, very honest and sincere Maharishis. They would report as is. They will not bother about what will the millennial kids think of me? What will the Gen Z kids think of me? What will the 80s kids think of me? They are reporters. So there was good journalism in those days. Good and journalism used to go together in those days. So they reported asses. They were not concerned about what opinion we will form of them because they are reporters. See, honestly, I'll tell you, in Ramayanam, what have we heard? Rama was told that you will become the higher apparent. Rama said, okay, deal. Next day, he was called and told, you have to go to the forest. What did Rama do? No, no. He went to the forest. What's the simple questions you're asking? He went to the forest. Did he file any case on his father? No. He said, okay, pa, when you've told me to go to the forest, I will go. This is what we will tell in Upanyasam. Correct. Very good. When he gets into the forest in Aranyakandam, Viradha comes and abducts Sita. Sita was one of the most abducted in those days. First abduction happens then. Viradha comes and abducts Sita. Rama and Lakshmana were petrified because they have just entered the forest. Kidnapping is happening immediately. So Rama and Lakshmana start running behind that Virada, 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 echo. Sita, Sita, Sita. And then Sita starts shedding, please leave me, please leave me. Chodo muje, chodo muje. Now, Rama, while running behind Virada, 
in Aranya Kandam looks at Lakshmana and says, Lakshmana, look at my state. My mother Kaikeyi will be happy now. There is a shlokam in Aranya Kandam like this. You go and fact check. You are allowed to fact check. You can check in Aranya Kandam. Why am I telling this? Because if Valmiki was that concerned about Rama's thoughts, he would have taken this verse out. Because it doesn't show a good light on Rama's character, right? Same thing happens in Kishkinda Kandam. When Sita is abducted again, he says, my mother Kaikeyi, she will be extremely happy. Why? Because even if the divine chooses to be a human, the human has to exhibit a quality. Imagine you have listened here and you are going home. You had thought you have already switched on the gas and made idlis. But by mistake, you didn't switch on the atta is still there. So you will always throw the blame on somebody who's close to you. I'm very close to you, so you'll throw the blame. This is human mentality. Same is the case with our Puranas. We should be very honest with our Puranas. We should not brush them under the carpet. No, no, no. That was later addition. No later addition. It was there. Similarly, Gopyaha Kamar, love. Bhayat Kamsaha. Kamsa attained the Lord through Bhayam. Kanjan Bhayitil Nerupennanindra Nedumale. Fear. Bhayat Kamsaha. Dveshat Chaityaha. This Cheri Desharaja Shishupala attained the Lord through disgust. His followers are still there in Tamil Nadu. Dvesha Chaidyaha. They say we are following Shishupala. See, Bhagavatam also states. That, but their wives are okay. Their wives will go to the temple. Only husband. Gopyaha Kama Dvayat Kamsaha. Dvesha Chaidyodayo Nrupaha. Sambandhat Vrishnaya Snehat. Sambandhat Vrishnaya. Vrishni is through the sammandham, the relationship that they had. You, yam bhaktya vayam vibho, we will attain through bhakti. So the answer, primary answer given to the question as to why the Lord shows disparity in the treatment amongst his devotees, to which Shuka says what Narada had replied, telling that it all depends on your attitude. You be good, you will reach him in a good way. You be bad, you will still reach him in a bad way. You are still going to reach him. The destination is the same. The method will be different. That is when to delineate this, he goes on further. Now you remember day one, at around 8.40, I said that Varaha managed as a wild boar to kill Hiranyaksha. Now it is day three. The dead body of Hiranyaksha comes to the court of Hiranyakashi. The moment the dead body comes, Hiranyaksha's wife Rusha Bhanu and his mother called as Diti, they start lamenting over the death of Hiranyaksha. The world has lost such an anti-social element. They start shedding tears. That is when somebody taps at their shoulders and says, don't worry. Jeevatma is Nityam. Atma is Anityam. Atma is Nityam. Shariram is Anityam. Atma will keep going body after body. I'm sure Hiranyaksha's Atma would have gone to another body. You're lamenting over his uh, body. So please don't cry. Nityatma Abhyayaha Shuddhaha Sarvagaha Sarvavitparaha such beautiful jnana. Who is giving? Hiranyakashipu. See, Hiranyakashipu also has something called Hiranyakashipu Gita. Only, not only Bhagavad Gita. Hiranyakashipu is also given Gita. But we may wonder, sir, why is Hiranyakashipu like this? Sometimes he is good, sometimes he is bad. Kadavul padi, murugam padi, kalanda seida, kalavaina. So he has got mix of both. That is why the Lord came as a mix. Who, who has told these words, sir? Our Alvar Pettai Alvar. Nityatma Abhyayaha Shuddhaha Sarvagaha Sarvavitparaha Dhattesa Vatmano Lingam Mayaya Visrujan Gunana Yesha Atma Viparyasau Hyallinge Lingabhavana 
ಯೇಷ ಪ್ರಿಯ ಅಪ್ರಿಯೈರ್ಯೋಗೋ ವಿಯೋಗ ಕರ್ಮ ಸಂಸ್ಕೃತಿ ಸೊ ಹಿರಣ್ಯ ಕಶಿಪು ಗಿವ್ಸ್ ದಿಸ್ ಜ್ಞಾನ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ಹೂ ಈಸ್ ಹಿರಣ್ಯ ಕಶಿಪು ಹೀಸ್ ದ ಸನ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಶ್ಯಪ ವೆರಿ ವೆಲ್ ಲರ್ನೆಡ್ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಬಟ್ ವೈ ಡಸ್ ಹಿ ಆಕ್ಟ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ಸರ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಹೀ ಇಸ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಅಸ್ ಸಿ ವೆನ್ ಎವರ್ ವಿ ಲಿಸನ್ ಟು ನೃಸಿಂಹಾವತಾರಂ ಅವರ್ ಇಂಟರ್ನಲ್ ಮೈಂಡ್ ವಿಲ್ ಆಲ್ವೇಸ್ ಮೇಕ್ ಅಸ್ ಥಿಂಗ್ ದಟ್ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಪ್ರಹ್ಲಾದ ವಿ ಆರ್ ಲೈಕ್ ಹಿರಣ್ಯ ಕಶಿಪು ಸಿ ವಿ ಮೇ ವಾಂಟ್ ಟು ಬಿ ಲೈಕ್ ಪ್ರಹ್ಲಾದ ಪ್ರಹ್ಲಾದಾಸ್ ಡಿವೋಷನ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಟ್ ಅನದರ್ ಲೆವೆಲ್ we will see towards the end what his devotion was we are all like hiranya kashipu why we have mood swings towards the start of the lecture we will have sattva guna first 45 minutes if i look at the faces it will be beautiful tapa ke rite na coach in kele ha so the first 45 minutes sattva gunam will be at its peak next half an hour slowly people will start getting restless okay. <laughs> they will go on i've been giving lecture every day right i notice <laughs> but i i am incorrigible i will continue with my two hour whatever you show then they will know this man is irreversible incorrigible irreparable and they will become tired so the first was satvam second is rajasam third is tamasam so we are all in equilibrium a mix of all these gunas so we should never associate ourselves with prahlada prahlada's devotion is tried and tested we can't stand one test of what prahlada went through now hiranyakashipu gives this atmagyanam to the mother and to the sister in law now he says why do you cry atma will leave the body i will tell you one story who tells hiranyakashipu so imagine the conversation the question was asked by shuka by prahl parikshit to shuka and in that answer the anecdote of the same question posed by yudhishthira to narada was mentioned in which was mentioned hiranyakashipu speaking to his sister in law and to his mother within which hiranyakashipu is giving one story i am going to tell you a putti story in lambat rite that is that story now there was a country called ushinara in that ushinara country a king called suyagnya died the moment suyagnya died his wife came and lamented over suyagnya's death while this wife was crying yamadeva came as a little boy and said i will tell you a story this is the fifth layer slowly we'll come out don't worry that is upanyasam now yamadeva says while a hunter went on a hunting spree in the forest he threw the net on a big pack of birds the net was caught many birds in those birds there was a couple a pair of birds one of them was within the net the other was outside so the one which was outside the net started lamenting over the other bird being caught as it was crying the hunter threw another net on it and caught this one also you are able to understand what he says is the answer to yudhishthira's yaksha's question in yaksha prashnam yaksha prashnam yaksha asks one question yudhishthira what is surprising kim ashcharya the question is kim ashcharya to which yudhishthira says you know what is surprising in life when someone who is very close to us dies we condone that death so much as if we are immortals veerka kudadavar adutha the number so he says we all condone the death of people in such a way the format is such as if we are immortals and that person is dead we have to follow suit similarly the bird was lamenting over its consort being caught unaware that it will also be caught when you are standing in a line for the ticket to be issued in the ticket counter you cannot cry ticket kada chutta adutha the number the next ticket is ours so this story of the hunter and the birds is told by yama as a boy to the wife who's lamenting over the death of her husband of the ushinara country which is a story told by hiranyakashipu to rishabhanu which is told by narada to yudhishthira which is told by shuka to parikshit 
So we have five layers of story. In this, we have covered about 300 shlokas. Now, I told you about Hiranyakashipu who gave all this Atma Jnana. Now he tells, Kute Hite Vishnu. Where is that Vishnu who has killed my brother? I shall go to the forest, get boons from Brahma and vanquish him in a battle. That is Hiranya. That is why I said he is like us. So while Hiranya Kashipu was leaving his palace, Kayadhu, his wife came running with that strip. She said, there are two red lines, I am pregnant. Immediately he tweeted, congrats Kaya at Kaya underscore Du. He tweeted. And then he left. While he went to the forest, I told you very hardworking people, they started, he started doing uh, austerities towards Brahma. Brahma has a Vahanam called Hamsam. Hamsam is a slow Vahanam. It is like GT Express. You know, from Chennai, there were two ways to go to Delhi. If you go by Tamil Nadu Express, you will reach in one and a half days. If you go by GT, you will know when you won't know when you will reach. So Slowly, Brahma came to that spot. He asked uh, our dear um, um, Hiranyakashipu, what boon do you want? As usual, like any other Asura, he said, I want to be immortal. One of the useless boons on earth. Imagine if somebody had a boon like Bhishma, you, have, you can choose when you can die. Then nobody will die. And imagine one person in the family has it. You are going to that house. You are Is he your father in law? No. Seven generations back, we don't even know he's not dying. So we will become a burden to others. So Hiranyakashipu asked, I want immortality. Brahma said, It's a good boon, but I can't bestow because I am not immortal. See, we should understand Sanatana Dharma's core Vedanta philosophy. The one who is born has to die. Brahma's birth is mentioned in Shastram. So he has to die. So Brahma ji bhi marenge, kya karu marenge? That is why in Vedanta Kalakshepam, we say, meditate on the Karanam. Karanam tu deyaha, says Shastram. Meditate on the Karanam, the causeless cause. So Brahma ji has got so many heads, so many powers. Yes, compared to us, he is more powerful. But with respect to Paramatma, he is like us. How do we understand this? Nampillai, one of the Acharyas, gives an example called Paranilieri Nilavai Parkuma Pole. Day one. I stand with my mother in my house and then she asks, what do you want? Mom, I want to go touch the moon. <laughs> what, what kind of a desire you have? The moon is miles away. One lakh fifty thousand miles, my dear son. You can't touch the moon. Okay, mom. Day one, day two, it is Sri Jayanti. Sri Jayanti is Gokulashtami. So my mother and father would make half the bhakshanams and buy the remaining. So while she intends to make the bhakshanams, so she'll tell, go up the attic, paran, use the ladder, sit there, get me that you know, the Paramatma in you know, all-purpose flower. It will give dharma, artha, kama, moksha. That is all-purpose flower. Give me that all-purpose flower. So that boy gives that all-purpose flower. Then the mother says, come on, get out, get out. No, no, mom, I'm going to touch the moon. What? You're going to touch the moon? Yesterday I was down, but today I'm seated on the attic so I can touch the moon. The ma mother gives a gaffa and she says, you were 1,50,000 miles away yesterday. Today you're 1,49,999.9998 miles away which can be approximated to 1,50,000. Compared to your position yesterday, you are 10 feet above. But with respect to the moon, your position hasn't changed. Similarly, compared to us, Brahma is seated on, seated on the attic. He has got more powers than us. But with respect to Paramatma, Brahma and we are in the same place. So, Brahma says, I can't bestow immortality on you. You ask for a different boon. In engineering, we used to have us. Oh, how many engineers here? My deepest condolences. So, 
you know, generally when people introduce me in lectures, he's Dushyant Shridhar, he has been giving lectures, he has studied in Pilani, then they will ask another question. Sir, after studying engineering, how did you come to philosophy? I said, engineering made me a philosopher. <laughs> so then they ask, sir, if you study law, what will you be? A lawyer. Medicine? Doctor. Engineering? Upanyasa. <laughs> so, here, he asked, there is a course called optimization. So there'll be constraints and you have to optimize. That is when he said, instead of immortality, give me this bone. Give me a boon. I should not die during the day, not during the night. Brahma started noting it down. Day, night, okay. Day. I should not die at the hands of a human or an animal. Next. I should not die inside my house nor outside my house. Brahma got a bit worried. I should neither die in the space nor on earth. I should neither die at the hands of something animate nor inanimate. If you throw a rat escape snake at me, it bites, I should not die. If you throw an arrow at me, I should not die. Animate and inanimate should not kill me. Brahma said, have you left something wrong? <laughs> so that is when he got, he thinks he got a bit intelligent. Hiranyakashipu says, I should not, in, in summary, Brahmaji, in summary, I, I would like to state that I should not die at the hands of anything or anyone that falls under the ambit of your creation. Your creation should not kill. Brahma had a huge sigh. He escaped the pink slip. Brahma knew that if this, this is all my creation, my creator, the one who is my karanam, doesn't fall under the ambit of my creation. So this man doesn't know there is an A complement. He thinks Brahma is the universal set. He doesn't know Brahma is set A subset to the universal set. So there is an A complement to it. There is a beautiful composition where the Kavi says, Shayanikum perumalin topul kodi kamala topul kodi mail brahmana manda padi. Shayanikum perumalin topul kodi kamala topul kodi mail brahman amanda padi. Ulagatin no irgale padaita padi. Padai pinai tirumal kata padi. Andambagi randam made kakum avan kodandam vinna yuman nulaga yumalakum avva manapada arul tarum deva varam tarava arul tarum deva varam tarava mulaga yumal ginja trivikrama rupa yen ninjil palli kondavan shri rang. Hiranyakashipu was not aware that there is somebody beyond Brahma. When you have half baked knowledge in Shastram, See, I wanted to read Shiva Ashtottara Shatanamavali two days back. So I went to Google and checked where Shiva Ashtottara Shatanamavali is. So when it came itself, it's, it mentioned of the Namam and the meaning. Trilokeshwaraya Namaha. There is one Nama for Shiva. What does it mean? Trilokeshwaraya Namaha. Trilokam. Ishwaraya Namaha. Ishwara for Trilokam. This Brihaspati who has written the meaning. Trilo Keshaya Namaha. 
the one who has got three hair strands. <laughs> three lobes, Keshaya Nama. So, half baked to knowledge in Shastram, if you learn from translations, at times there are prone to be some misinterpretations. That is where Guru Lake Yetu Vandi Kuni Vitele Yaga Podu Sad Guru Lake Yetu Vandi Sad Guru Lake Yetu Vandi. There is no Guru. How will you learn the Shastra? So Brahma, he said, granted, because he knew he had a route to escape. Hiranya Kashipu mistook this Varam that he had received for immortality. He was very happy. On the other hand, when Hiranyakashipu left, let's go back to Kayadu. Kayadu showed her pregnancy strip, then she regularly went for checkups to Kamala Selvaraj. So, now while she was pregnant, one day she saw one sannyasi. She wanted to give bhiksha to him, and that sannyasi kidnapped her. For Ravana, there is always an inspiration. But the good thing about that person who abducted as a sannyasi was he didn't buy an island. So here we had this person who had come was none but Indra. He kidnapped Kayadu. Kayadu swooned. Her BP became very low. She swooned. Now while he was carrying her in the Ratham, Narada comes to that place. He says, uh, Indra. This doesn't look like your wife Shachi Devi. Who is this mommy? <laughs> this is Hiranyakashipu's wife. That is when he says, This is not right. Why are you kidnapping her? Somebody else's wife. This is not right. Indra says, How dare I can leave her like this? She is carrying the fetus of that man, Hiranyakashipu. That Hiranyakashipu, that wretched man, is bad. This child will also be bad. That is when. He says, don't assume things. You cannot be judgmental about children based on how the parents are. This statement is used by Vedanta Deshika in Shatadushan. It all depends on the, the, the surroundings that the child gets in how the child matures into a wonderful human being. It does not depend on the parents. The parents have a huge role to play in the upbringing, but you cannot classify or designate that this kind of a person will have this type of a child. Indra asks, are you sure Narad Maharishi? Yes. How do you know? See, Indra, you please understand, your father was a very good man. <laughs> so finally, he says, I will ensure this child is good. And he takes Kayadhu the pregnant Kayadhu to his ashrama. See, this has a lot of similarities with Ramayana. Pregnant Sita is taken by Valmiki to his ashrama. Now, every day, Narada would give Upanyasas. Vedanta Sabha used to arrange them. So, he used to give lectures. But there was a mistake in Narada's approach. He used to give discourses on various Vedanta topics to Kayadu after she had her dinner. See, after dinner, if you listen to Upanyasam, it's a big mistake. You can't even, as such, Upanyasams will slowly, it will make you sleep. You'll be in Brahmanandam. Imagine you have had Pongal and Gutsu. Oh my goodness, you'll be on your way to that Atma would have gone to Vaikuntam and then will come back. So she used to be served good dinner and then she he used to give lectures. What, see, I don't mind. Even if you want to take one small power nap in my lecture, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. But Narada, she was the only audience. See, if you have one or two people in the audience, the audience will find it tough. They won't even get sufficient time to scratch their nose. So in a lecture like this, if I turn this side, two of them will go that side. So you should give that ample space. So Narada felt very bad when she started snoring. He thought this is high time that I can't get any more humiliated and he left. That is when we have a folklore which says 
that the fetus in her garbham wanted him to continue which kind of goes akin to what most gynecologists and obstetricians say even now in the second and the third trimester that listen to good things the child has the power to be cognizant of what it is hearing so if you have if you know friends in dallas who are known to you who are on the family way please bring them to a lecture See, trust me, Shastram says, Jayamanam hi purusham yam pashyen madhusudanaha. Satrikaha satu vigyeyaha savai moksha artha chintakaha. The one who is housed in their mother's garbham as a fetus in the amnionic sac. And if that child, whoever be it, would have listened to at least one verse of Ramayanam or Bhagavatam while they were inside their mother's garbham, at least one verse, one line. Surely they will have the saubhagyam to listen to Bhagavatam in Dallas in 2023. Trust me, it is called Garbha Sriman. You will all be thinking it's a, it's just something on a lighter way. No, trust me, when each of us, we were in our mother's womb, our mother would have surely listened to something from Ramayana or Bhagavatam. That is why we are there as a palam today. It is not because of just your interest to come. Something in our karma has forced us to come and something in me has made me speak. So this Garbha Shri Matvam is very important. Narada continued telling. That is when he started telling the greatness of Ashtaksha. Om iti Vyaharet, Namaha iti Paschat, Narayanayet Uparishtat, Om iti Ekaksharam, Namaha iti dve akshare, Narayana yeti panchaksharani, says Upanishad. So he was explaining the essence of Ashtaksharam to Kayadu. But Kayadu was not listening, the child was listening. Dasa says, Kashtadalli rali, Utreshtadalli rali, Yeshtadaru, Madiketi rali. Krishna Krishna Vemugo Shishya Rubeduva Ashtakshara Maha Mantra Namavana Rayana Nina Namadas Maraneya Saram Rutavu so the Narayana Nama Mahima was mentioned. You know, Alvar says, is any Narayan here? Anybody's name is Narayan? One, two, three, four. Many Narayans we have. Wonderful. Will the one who is named Narayanam go to Vaikuntham? Alvar says that we are not sure. But the one who is named Narayana, his mother will never go to Narakam. Naranan tam annai Naragam Pugal. The one who is the mother to a son. Here the example is Narayana. Alva says, Naranan tam annai Naragam Pugal. Because she will keep calling Narayana. 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 But she is doing Nama Sankirtanam. So she will not go to Narakam. Naranantam Annai Naragam Pugal. So there was Nama Sankirtanam in Naradashramam. Narayana Hari Narayana Hari Narayana Hari Narayana. So, energy. Hmm? You are all close to 600, 700 people. I am one. Ekascharamo, Dharmatma, Katham Yuddham Bhavishyati. You are all there in high numbers. So, what I will do is this side is part is team A. This is team B. So, I will tell the client, let's see how you all repeat. Then I'll go to that side. Narayana Hari Narayana Hari Narayana Hari Narayana
ನಾರಾಯಣ ಹರಿ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಹರಿ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಹರಿ ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಹರಿ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಹರಿ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಹರಿ ನಾರಾಯಣ 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 ಹರಿ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಹರಿ ನಾರಾಯಣ ಹರಿ 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 ನಾರಾಯಣ 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 ಅಟ್ ದಟ್ ಮಿನಿಟ್ ವಿನ್ ದ ನಾಮ ಸಂಕೀರ್ತನ ವಾಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪನಿಂಗ್ ದ ರೆಸಿಪಿ ಅಂಡ್ ದ ಫಲಂ ಪ್ರಹ್ಲಾದ ವಾಸ್ ಬಾರ್ನ್ ವೈಲ್ ಹಿ ವಾಸ್ ಬಾರ್ನ್ ಲುಕ್ ಅಟ್ ದಿ ಅಟ್ಮಾಸ್ಫಿಯರ್ ಪ್ಲಾದ ಶಬ್ದಂ ಸುಖವಾಚಕ ಪ್ಲಾದ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಟು ಬ್ರಿಂಗ್ ಹ್ಯಾಪಿನೆಸ್ ಪ್ರಹ್ಲಾದ ಹೂ ಬ್ರಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ಡಿಲೈಟ್ ಟು ಹಿಸ್ ಪೇರೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಹಿ ವಾಸ್ ವೆರಿ ವೆರಿ correct right to what his name meant kayadhu was super happy she took the child narada said congratulations the inmates of the ashram they were all super delighted as the child was just a week old that is when hiranyakashipu comes after having received the boons now you are able to connect where he came so he had a double delight he had come from an on site project double delight there is a child he immediately said how what happened and kayadu tells what all happened indra came as the sanyasi he abducted narada said so he said narada i appreciate you he gave an award function also he gave one title to narada for us also if i don't know whether they get bored of us or feel good about this immediately they'll give one title upanyasa kesari upanyasa upma edal one so and then one they'll give us one shawl see that shawl have you seen that full of jari shawl absolutely useless even if you try to put it on your golu steps it won't look good. some somebody will come vandu murugan will come vatta cheyalalar will come in ayya avargalukku inda ponnadaiye anivikire enna ponnada there will be fight you know many sabhas there will be fight oh you did not give that shawl to me pichu ko this shawl that is that is why i tell all my organizers no god's photo no shawl and some of them are so much filled with devotion to me they will give one big rose garland <laughs> then i have to tell like one mantra kubja mabja vilochana and then you know the beauty of those rose flowers is angam hare he pulaka bhushana aashrayanti bees will start hovering around that you see we are complicating so he gave one title narada take this title it was below signatory was hiranyakashipu will you have the audacity to put that on the wall so that is when he said very good narada you are and then he took his child wife everybody home the child was barely 20 days old barely 20 days ಅಪ್ಪಾಯಿಸ್ಮಾರ್ಟ್ ಹಿ ಹಸ್ ಟು ಗೋ ಅಂಡ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ವೇರ್ ದ
when I go to some of the traditional mathas in our Vaishnava Sampradayam or Smarta Sampradayam, if it's a Vali Shinga, Andavan, or Balapiriva, and now Sannidhanam, there will be a big Goshti and they will say, Dushin, whatever you know well, you speak. It becomes a problem because we don't know anything well. We know half baked knowledge. So they will ask the tell me something that you know. Similarly, this father asked his son, What do you know well? Shasta Vishnu Raseshasya Jagado Yogritistita Tameva Paramatmanam Tata Kakena Shasyati. My dear father. I have known of one thing that the one who is housed within you and me is the same. His name is Vishnu, Shasta Vishnu. He said, you're getting completely spoiled by being exposed to Google. You have, where did you learn all of this? And then he said, it's high time that I put you to coaching classes. And he called the topmost class, the Ivy League of those times was Shanda and Amarka school, the sons of Shukracharya. They were called and they were told, take my son. They were very happy because if Hiranyakashipu's son graduates from their school, it will become a good marketing selling point. Hiranyakashipu said, teach him who is Paramatma. Sure, sir. But Hiranyakashipu said, oh, I forgot to tell you, teach him that I am Paramatma. Sir, there is no course material. That course material, then they prepared Hiranyakashapa Venamaha, Diriputra Yanamaha, Kashyapa Suna Venamaha, Loka Dukha Karana Yanamaha, Samudaya Bhanjaka Yanamaha. Now Prahlada thought this is just not out of syllabus, but this is wrong syllabus. So the next day classes had to begin by about 7 a.m. At 4 a.m., Shanda and Amarka heard 93.4 FM. Santa Harina Sarasirada Namava Antaranga Dola Girisi Yento Kuranda Vitalera Yene Antia Kale Chintiso Namava Narayana. Shanda and Amarka came and they thought, what is this boy doing? We were supposed to teach him Hiranyakashipu Ashtotra Shatanamavali and this boy is teaching Narayana Mantram to the other boys. The other boys are saying, we'll better leave these two teachers and join Prakhlada. He's a good teacher. See, in Pilani, where I used to study, we used to get professors, two PhDs, one postdoctoral fellow and all. But if they teach, rarely we used to understand. There will be one teaching assistant. He would have just passed out. He won't have any of those degrees. That person will be able to teach very well. So they said, Prahlada, we have to join. That is when here he thought, these teachers thought, it is high time we go give this boy away to the parents. Let him deal. They went and told Hiranyakashu, Hiranyakashu, thank you so much for giving us the opportunity to serve your son for a few days. We are not that well equipped to handle your son. You have him with you. Then the boy came. The father was very good that way. He asked, what did you learn in these two weeks? He wanted ROI. He has invested something. What have you learned? Shravanam. My dear father, I have learned that listening is the foremost of all skills. That is why People who listen are greater, more than the speaker. Listeners are greater and they spend more energy. That is why after two and a half hours, when you all get up from your chairs, it's tiresome. More than the speaker, listeners will feel the tired. Shravanam, keep listening. In a year, make it a point to listen to about 200 to, sorry, 2000 to 3000 hours of lectures. Make it a point. Because every day you have to listen. Every day you have to listen. Two hours, whether you are cooking, whether you are driving, whether you are working, whether working from home or for home, whichever you have to listen. Some people say, I am very happy. But as long as you listen and then sleep, you should not sleep while you are listening. 
then you won't know where you have left. Again, go back one hour. Every day it will happen. Shravanam, listen. Because listening is very tough. Imagine you go tell some outsider, some friend of yours, how many hours is the lecture? They will expect half an hour. Two hours, 30 minutes, you say, they'll swoon. One person is telling, how is he to look at Sumarana? Because Carnatic musicians are all very well dressed. You know, they'll dress to the occasion, they will match well. His kurta, they will match all that. Here, what we say, not even iron. So, and stubble. So listening is great. Next, as you listen, you should do Kirtanam. Kirtanam. I remember while I used to study, I was attached to my grandparents. My grandmother would be very strict. Why? Then we used to say, Aurangazeb imprisoned his father, Aurangazeb imprisoned his father, Aurangazeb imprisoned his father. Imprisoned his father. 10 mark questions. How Aurangazeb imprisoned his father? Then we have to write Aurangazeb imprisoned his father. The father was imprisoned by Aurangazeb. Active line, passive, passive line, that thing. Mati, mati, mati. And the old Brahaspati, additional sheet, ma'am. Yo. Shravanam <laughs> Kirtanam. See, listening is great. Reciting is greater. But what is tough? Remembering. Sir, many people say, Kekno, sir, no, no, Kekno, Kekno, what you put it here, Kekno, no, Kekno, no, Kekno, Shravanam, Kirtanam, Vishnu, Smaranam. How many sons did Swayam Bhuvamanu have? How many daughters did they have? Oh, super. Youngsters of Dallas, no, by him, no, no, Shravanam, Kirtanam, Vishnu, Smaranam, Pada Sevanam. My dear father, I have learned that. I have to be subservient to the devotees. Wash their feet. Archanam. Archanam. You are doing Archana to the Lord. How should that Archana be? Be very. See, why do we do Archana? Everybody has this question. Sir, my children are asking, why do we do Archana? Because when you visit somebody's house, what will you say? Hey, hi, so nice meeting you after a long time. Yeah, how are you? Your house is so beautiful. Your house is so beautiful. How did you make this? You have to, you have to say some nice things when you go to a house. Similarly, you are going to the temple. You have to sing a few praises to the Lord. But when we are not adept enough to sing, there are some ready-made Archanas available. So you ask the priest, Archama, Archaka Paradhinaha, you tell the Archaka, please do Archana on my behalf. Extol the Lord, sing praises of the Lord. So here, both parties should be sincere. The one who is doing Archana and the one who is asking the one to do Archana, both of them should be sincere. Prakritiyai namaha, vikritiyai namaha, vidyayai namaha, sarvabhuta hitapradayai namaha, shraddhayai namaha. Vache Namaha, Swadha, Yenamaha, Swaha, Yenamaha, Danya, Yenamaha, Hiran, my Yenamaha, Nitya Pushta, Vibhava, Yenamaha, Aditi, Namaha, Ditya, Namaha, Dita, Yenamaha, Vasundara, Yenamaha, Trainus, Loka, Prada, Yenamaha, Saumya, Yenamaha. The way you do Archana, it should bring Bhakti. So the priest should be very sincere. We should also be sincere. That time we are answering WhatsApp message. You should patiently listen. Archanam, Vandanam. Put your hands together. Who has taught this recently? WhatsApp. You have seen? For every message, people will send this emotic one. Thanks. Abhina, you know, you will get that search engine optimum. You will get that hand. Thanks. Vandanam, Raghunandana. Say to Bandhana Bhakta Chandana Piridhamana to Padamane Vedamagi Modamarama Bandhanam Ragunandana. Now you will be wondering. This is Nisumhavatara. Vandanamura Gunandana is Ramavatar. Why is that coming? Irrelevant posture, right? No. Tyagaraja Swami, besides his individual compositions, has given us through two gay natakams, musical natakams, operas. One is called Prahlada Bhakti Vijayam. 
Second is very good. Now, Kacharit. In Prahlada Bhakti Vijayam, it will talk about the great Bhagavatottama called Prahlada. How this little boy was tormented by the father and thereby from the pillar who emerged. Listen, right? But in Prahlada Bhakti Vijayam, Narasimha Rama will come out. Sir, when did Rama come? Because for Tyagaraja Swami, everything was Rama. That is why when the boy was thrown from the cliff, the boy sings Vandanamu, Ragunandana, Setu Bandhanam. So this Kirtanam is a part of Prahlada Bhakti Vijayam. Shravanam Kirtanam Vishnu Smaranam Padasevanam Archanam Vandanam Dasyam Sakyam Atmani Vedanam Sakyam Atmani Vedanam Think you are subservient to, to the Lord. Think the Lord is your friend and then finally submit your Jeevatma. All this, that little boy in those two weeks has managed to learn all of this. Then he tells his father what we would have done, Kali Yuga father, we would have taken the video. We would have converted that to small resolution, shared that in our WhatsApp groups. Even without listening, some of our friends would have said, fantabulous, fabulous, so beautiful, great. Kali Yuga fathers are very motivating. Small. So we praise for small things. I'm sure the elderly folks here will be able to relate. It may not be my younger friends. There were there was an age where the parents would never praise their children. To even get that word good. If you get 99 and a half, not bad get the next time why why where did that half mark go <clears throat> why because there is a shastra vakyam which says parents should never praise their children there is a shastra vakyam it doesn't mean you have to demotivate them you have to keep going the world has to praise them the society has to praise them you should be happy look at my son nobody has produced that great so Parents should not praise. This is a Shastra Vakyam. This is invoked by the Acharyas in their commentaries. Parents should generally not praise. Even if Hiranyakashipu adhered to the Shastram and did not want to praise his son, he could have stopped there. He abused the boy. He rebuked him, reprimanded him. He said, huh? where did you learn all this? I will teach you a lesson and tell you how you should adhere to what I say. He said, take him to those maddened elephants because in literature, we believe that when elephants are on a high, Urta elephants, that time when they are on a high, they will, literature says that from their mastakam, they will produce a water called Mada Jalam. It is said, now don't ask me, have you tested? I, have no, I, I don't have the audacity to sit on an elephant top and check whether that liquid is being secreted. If you have that power, go and check in Thailand, Sri Lanka, anywhere you want. But literature says that there is a liquid secreted by the elephants when they are on a high. That is called Mada Jalam. That is why Andal says, I saw the elephant with the intoxicating juice being uh, secreted. Undu Madakalitran. She doesn't say Kalitran. Madakalitran. The water that comes. You know, there is another belief in the Sanskritam literature. Sanskrit believes that pearls are not born just in the oysters of the ocean. They are also born in the mastakam of an elephant. And also in the bamboo trees. That is why in Malavika Gnimitram, this is a beautiful drama by Kalidasa. Check there. So, by the foothills of the beautiful Parvatam, there will be a lot of pearls. That is when they will discover that an elephant would have come and it would have broken the head of an elephant. So, the pearls would have come down. So, there is a belief that there are pearls. This could be a belief, just a belief. It's a, you know, a poet is always given the license to imagine and over imagine. It could be. An imagination. But here, those elephants 
were allowed to trample on this boy. They came running. And this boy had a simple prayer. He said, See, you may want to crush me, but remember, oh, you elephant, I still know that you have empathy towards every being that surrounds you. If you crush me, I will die. My body will die. My body will perish. But remember, you shall remain ungrateful to your ancestors because one of your ancestors called Gajendra was protected by that Lord when he cried in withering pain. And that Lord who protected your ancestor, who cried in withering pain, is housed in my heart. If you press me, you are being ungrateful to them. While he was able to convey the emotion of this particular request to the elephant, the elephant was cognizant of the boy's request and went back. See, at times animals understand better than humans. They are much more intelligent, loyal. That is when he said, take him to the top of a cliff and throw him down. This is ego. When somebody doesn't come listen to what you say, we immediately use such tools. We do not have nicer ways to convince people. We will immediately use violent means. So Hiranyakashipu said, push the boy from the cliff. While he fell, people thought he's dead and they started making preparations for the rituals to be performed after death. The boy comes home. Appa! <laughs> You didn't die. Who protected you? The Dwarapalakas. They protected me. Tyagaraja says in Bhakti Vijayam. Vasudevayani Vedalinari Dovari Kunikanare Shri Vasudevayani Vedalinari Dovari Kunikanare so those Dwarapalakas protected me by dear father. You want to meet them? They will be very good friends. I will ask them. Father was angry. That is when Bhattatri says, Sashulaira vidha subahu mathito digga jaganai Maha sarpaira ashtopyana nashana Garahara vibhutaha He made him, he didn't give him food. Girindra vakshipta pyopaha Paramatman nai vibho He was pushed from a mountain. Tvai nyasthyatmatvat kimatina nipidama bhajata Take every hurdle that little boy had to undergo, the problems we undergo in our life. Take Prahlada soon. If we have problem after problem, there are many people who say, what is the use of doing Archana to him, doing Ekadashi Vratam, taking part in Adhyayanotsava, going for Goshti. What is the use, sir? At the end of the day, I'm suffering. One suffering we will lament. This boy was tortured. And he is not a boy who has attended Vedanta lectures. Nothing. Four-year-old boy. If he had done to me, I would have said, what should I say? Hiranya Kashyapave Namaha. Okay, Hiranya Kashyapave Namaha. That is why I am not Prahlada. See, that boy had the conviction. See, Shastram asks, what protects the devotee? What protects the devotee? Not the Lord. Shastram says, Paramatma doesn't protect. The Vishwasam that you have on Paramatma protects the devotee, it seems. It is not the Lord who protects. The trust that you have on Paramatma protects. Anukulyasya sankalpam pratikulyasya varjanam rakshishyatiti vishwasaha. The trust that he is there to protect me. But we are not like that. If we pray to the Lord, then we will also pray to two, three other people. We will keep backup plan. But Vedanta Deshika says one rule. Tvai rakshati rakshakai hi kimanyai If you have vowed to protect me in the simha, why do I need to go to others? Tvai cha arakshati rakshakai hi kimanyai hi If you have vowed to not protect, protect me, what is the use of going to others? 
So either way, I don't have to go to others. So this Dridhagatra Vishwasam is important in Bhakti. Boy was completely sure the Lord is there to protect me. See, father tried to kill him every possible way. One day, he saw his sabha. There was this pillar. So, he knew that nobody could have come into that pillar. Why? Because it seems while he constructed the sabha, he personally supervised the construction of that pillar. So, he knew the amount of mortar, amount of cement blocks, Jalli, everything was used. So he knew nobody would be there inside. So at that point in time, the father asks, where is he? This incident has been imagined by Bhattatri in Narayaniyam. While he was writing, he was suffering from rheumatoid arthritis. He was using his brother Matridatta and then was condensing Bhagavatam into Narayaniyam. He wondered. How can a four-year, five-year-old boy have this conviction? Not possible. And see, they say that some, some unique creature came out of that pillar. I am not able to trust all of this. Bhattatri wondered. But he had to continue composing Narayaniyam. He closed his eyes. He opened. As he opened, he was not in Guruvayur, says Anantarama Dikshita. He was there in a sabha mantapam where there were pillars all around. Suddenly Bhattadri saw to his right there was a well-built man with the mace running towards the pillar. As he struck that pillar, Bhattadri saw what was coming out. That time as he got to struck the pillar and the pillar broke like a dicotyledon, emerged a form that the world has never seen before. How was that form? Says Bhattatri. Stambhe ghatta yato kiranya kashipo karnau sama churna yan aghurna jagadanda punda pumaro borastava bhudravaha shukpa yam kira daitya raja nuda ye purna kadapya shudam It is an exception to the creation process. It was the head of a lion, the body of a 
नर आकंठम आदि पुरुषम कंकीरवम उपरि कुंठी तारा दिन However, their eyes, the eyes looked as if a thousand suns were smelted together. The ears stood erect. The nakam that emerged from the of the fingers, they looked like vajra yudam. The air that was going into one nostril and gushing out looked like the hot air that goes during the summer into a cave and gets out. The tongue was vagaring like the sword that a warrior holds in a battlefield. These are all the descriptions given by Shukab Brahma. Now the beauty is when the boy said, Trilokya Meta Dakhilam Narasimham Garbham, the father asked, Where is he? You know, the boy said, Sarvatra Asti Sada Asti, always and everywhere, there. Where is he? Answer my question. Kamban tells in Kambaramayanam, Shanilu Mulan, Shadakuru Itta Konilu Mulan. மா மேரு குண்டிலு முளன் நீ சொல்லும் சொல்லிலு முளன் when you are asking me my dear father where is he he is pervaded even every letter of the english alphabet where w h e r e he is there within that letter நீ சொல்லும் சொல்லிலு முளன் that time nampillai answers in the commentary he says only when the boy said my lord is omniscient and omnipresent did the lord himself realize that he is omniscient and omnipresent it seems so even the lord needed a prahlada to spell the truth out and one sishya asked what was the lord do doing inside the pillar he has to spend his time right what was he doing Nakatthukku uram pottu kondirindha. He was polishing and sharpening his nails, says the Acharya. Why nails? See, there is a technical point here in Vedanta. I'm sure all of you are very well adept in Vedanta, but I'll still use what Bhagavad Ramanuja has to say in Sri Bhashya. And there are many, many commentaries before that as well. See, the word and its creation process and its constituents is understood by us in one method. The method is, this Jeevatma, which is housed within our body, is called Chetana or Chit. This body is Achetanam. It is Pancha Bhautika Shariram. But it seems to us as if the body is functioning because of the presence of Jeevatma within. But what is Chetanam Jeevatma? Here is where I have mentioned this before to this audience, but I will still do a small revision. There are, you, if you understand this point well, you will be able to understand Vedanta Karakshepam very well. There are two types of knowledge. One is called Dharmi Jnanam. Second is called Dharma Bhuta Jnanam. Jnanam is knowledge. Now the Jeevatma, as per Shastram, is believed to possess, it's believed to be the personification of a knowledge called Dharmi. What is the quality of Dharmi? Dharmi Jnanam will say, I, I, I. So the only attribute of Dharmi Jnanam is to keep saying I. But with that knowledge alone, we cannot survive. So there is an act attributive knowledge to the existing knowledge that is called dharma bhuta jnanam what is the definition to it vishaya prakashana vela ile swashrayatthukku swayam prakasham which is let's say at the age of two my grandfather is taking me and he's telling anna see that is light light he teaches me now that very moment i grasp that light and its features in my mind my eye captures and sends that as a small data byte to my brain it will get stored it will get stored whatever shape be it there is something like light i can see everything this is light this is stored at the age of two let's say at the age of three my grandfather and me both of us are walking then there is light now i will tell him tata light why because the moment my eye captures it, it goes to my brain, retrieves the previous data, like the penzi, it will retrieve the data. And then it will say, oh, you remember this is light. Tell your tata this is light. So I tell this is light. So this process where my eye sees conveys to the brain, the brain retrieves, I telling my, to my tata happens like this. But there are so many steps within this. 
But this knowledge about light will not be 24 cross 7. Only when one of my five senses comes across that object, I will be reminded of that knowledge. This momentary knowledge when it comes across is called Dharma Bhuta Jnanam. So Dharmi Jnanam is I. Dharma Bhuta Jnanam is when it comes in contact with an external object. Those which are substratum to Dharma Bhuta Jnanam are called Chetanam. Those which aren't are called Achetanam. Now, how do we understand both these Jnanams together? My Acharya used to give a wonderful example. My Surpa. See, we can understand Vedanta from our kitchen. Let's take basin flour. We take the raw smell out of it. And then we add sugar, ghee. And then at one point in time, after sugar is added, and then there is a you stir it well. You take a greased plate and then add this concoction there. There is one method where many people do. After this concoction is put to the greased plate, they will add sugar at the top. That sugar will be added in such a way that it should not melt in that Mysore Park. So if you add while it is hot, then that sugar will melt. If you add it after it is cold, it, that won't stick. So you have to add, sprinkle the sugar over Mysore Park at that Padam where it will neither melt nor get detached. It has to stick on that top. Is there sugar outside Mysore Park? Yes. Is there sugar inside Mysore Park? Yes. The sugar inside the Mysore Park is Dharmi Jnanam. The sugar which is stuck at the top is called Dharma Bhuta Jnanam. This attributive knowledge we may get dysfunctional, for example, in coma patients. They may not be able to answer what you say or recognize because their Dharma Bhuta Jnanam is inactive, whereas Dharmi Jnanam is active. So, now we have understood Dharmi Jnanam, Dharma Bhuta Jnanam, that which is a substratum to Dharma Bhuta Jnanam is Chetanam. So, this Jivatma is Chetanam, whereas body is a Chetanam. If this body is a Chetanam and Jivatma is Chetanam, who is Paramatma? Chetanam or a Chetanam? You have to put him in one of the groups. Which one will you put? Chetanam, he has knowledge. He may be super Chetana, like surf, surf Excel. We are, we are, he may be better than us, but he comes under the Chetana Ghost. Now let's take our example. My body is a Chetanam. Atma is Chetanam. I have been produced by my mother. How is my mother? She is also having Chetanam inside. So in a way, Chetana gives rise to Chetana. What is the raw material of this silica, plastic? All that is the raw material of this mic. How are they? Achetanam. What has Achetanam given rise to? Another Achetanam. So Achetanam gives rise to an Achetanam. My mother who has Jeevatma gives rise to me who has Jeevatma. So Chetanam gives rise to a Chetanam. A Chetanam gives rise to an Achetanam. Simple. Paramatma is Chetanam. He has given rise to both the Jeevatma and this. See, in Paramatma's creation, even this mic is a part. Mic is a Chetanam, but Paramatma is Chetanam. So the Tarkikas asked Bhagavad Ramanuja, how is this possible? That is when Bhagavad Ramanuja gave two examples. The first example is a scorpion. Scorpions are ovoviviparous. See, in zoology, we come across birds that lay eggs. Eggs get incubated and the chicks come out. That is a two-stage process. So they are called oviparous. Whereas we humans are viviparous. We come from our mother's garbham directly. She doesn't lay eggs and we are not lying in some nest and we are coming. We are coming directly. So we are all live birth process. So we are all viviparous. Scorpions are ovoviviparous. The little one will be inside the egg. The egg will be inside the mother. So the egg has to break. The little one has to tear open the egg and the mother's body and come out. So the scorpion would need heat. So traditionally, what the mother scorpions would do is they will go and position themselves in the backyards of the houses because traditionally backyards of houses had cow sheds where they used to be cows. And if you have cows or seeing cows, you know, every 15 minutes, they will keep laying dung. And when the dung comes, it will be hot. So the mother scorpions will strategically position themselves where the dung will come. 
the heat in the dung will incubate the little one and the little one will tear open and come from the mother's body. Now, when a person is looking at the dung, which is achetanam, he will see suddenly a scorpion coming out. So the scorpion is chetanam, whereas dung is achetanam. So Ramanuja said, see, a scorpion is walking out of the dung, which means chetana has a theory of coming out of achetanam. It is akin to the parthenogenesis theory. Now, on the other hand, let's take Nisimha avatar. Where did Nisimha come out of? Pillar. What is pillar? Achetanam. What did it give rise to Nisimha? Chetanam. How did Nisimha tear open Hiranyakashipu? Nails. Nails are, see if you take nails, except the cuticle, the remaining are dead cells. So, Achetanam came out of Chetana Nisimha and Nisimha came out of an Achetana pillar. So, even if logic applies in most cases, in Paramatma, he is beyond logic. So, this is the point he makes. Another point. Sir, how did Hiranyakashipu's boons come into picture when the Lord came? He came at a point which is a transition stage from the day to the night. In organic chemistry, we have something called SN2 mechanism. So, when the carbon leaves the hydrogen and has to acquire a halogen, there is a transition state, which is neither stage 1 nor stage 2. Here, from the day till the night, there is a time called Pradosha Samayam. So, that Pradosham is technically neither day nor night. So, the Lord emerged that time. How did he come? As a combination of animal and human. Where did he sit? on the doorstep, which is neither outside the house nor inside the house. Because when you want to buy the house, they will include the doorstep. When you want to sell the house, they will minus the doorstep in Chennai. So it is neither this nor that. So he chose the doorstep. It was neither Akasham nor Bhumi. He chose his lab. And then he chose the nails because the nails can be said to possess life because they keep growing can be called inanimate because when you cut them, you see them as dead cells and you don't sense the pain. So they are concoction of animate and inanimate. So that is why Madhvacharya does a stuti called Nakastuti. He has written a shlokam on the Nakam. I need to. Now there is another point here. Rama was born. He grew up. He studied under Vasishtha. So did Krishna was born to Devaki. Then he went to Yashoda. But Nisimha was born just that day. So, Periyalvar from Madurai, while he saw Nisimha, he saw from the standpoint of a mother. The child is just born from the uterus called the pillar. The pillar opened and the little child Nisimha came. So, little children who are born to parents, generally the first 15-20 days, parents will be very careful because they should not acquire skin infections. Because that is why they will say, don't kiss, be very careful with the child. Because there is one condition called erythema toxicum neonatorum. This condition in Tamil is called pandanai, the skin problem. So, Alvar's being a mother was so concerned. Nisimha is born out of the pillar. What if my baby Nisimha gets skin infection? So, he says, my dear Nisimha, I bless you that you should not get skin infection. Andiyam podil ariguruvagi ariyai aditavanai pandanai tira palland palai irattandendra padudume. You should not get the skin infection called pandanai. Says Periyalva. This is another point. Now, the Lord appeared and asked Prahlada, Prahlada, what boon do you want? Prahlada said, Oh, my dear Lord. My father was very abusive. He used to reprimand me, rebuke me for no reason. I did not take this to heart, but I know for a point that you took this to your heart. That is why you have come and you tore open. If you are ready to grant me a boon, please grant me that my father should be forgiven by you. The Lord said, Okay, Prahlada, I will forgive your father, but ask some boon for yourself. My dear boy, ask for another boon. Prahlada said, see, you have appeared in front of me and you have openly asked, ask for a boon. Sheer mannerless boy that I was, I immediately asked for a boon. And now out of your benevolence, you are telling me, I will grant you another boon. If at all you have to grant me another boon, grant me the boon. That in the future, if at all you appear in front of me and say, Prahlada, ask for a boon, I should tell, oh my Lord, I have seen you. 
that is the biggest boon what should i ask for give me that mind that i should never ask anything from you. that is bhakti says prahlada namaste pundari kaksha namaste purushottama that is why the commencement i said it is very wrong for us to even compare ourselves with prahlada we do not have the devotion the way the boy expressed devotion that is why uh, Tyagaraja says, Who are Bhagavatamas? Parama Bhagavatam Oni Varasha Shivi Bhakara Sanaka Sanandana Dish Surakim Purushakanaka Kashi Pusutana Rada Tumburu Pavana Sunu Bala Chandra Dharashuka Saroja Baba Busura Varulu Parama Baba Nunu Kanunu Shashwa Tulukamana Baba Sukha Musada Baba Mugaka Look at the list, he says. So Prahlada was extremely devoted. He was made the higher apparent. He was made the king. And he lived a good lifestyle. Now, I told you about that elephant, right? Now, this leads us to the next charitram in Srimad Bhagavatam. By the foothills of Trikuta Parvatam, there was a beautiful pond many lotuses i'm sure all the parents and grandparents would have told this charitram to your children many many times then we will also add one more thing that the elephant wanted to pluck that lotus flower to offer to the lord but that is not there in bhagavad the elephant did not come to the pond to pluck the flower and go to the nearby temple and offer shukabrumam doesn't mention the elephant came it was a very well-known elephant, smart elephant, Gajendra, he was called Gajanam Indraha. He was the leader. He was the head and commander-in-chief. You know head and commander-in-chief? Thala Thalabadi. He came and people had, he had a fan page, Gajendra. And then Shuka Brahmam says there were many female elephants that followed the male elephant. The male elephant got into that waters. He started playing with the waters. They all took photo of that male elephant they took selfie with him all this is there now you may be wondering does this happen as a festival i don't know how many of you have known in kerala there's a beautiful town called trishur there is a kshetram called badakkunnada kshetram and the festival is called puram from the trivambadi kshetram krishna will come it's a beautiful festival we do this dog show cat show it is elephant show there will be 100 elephants and there is a head elephant called Ramachandran. Are you? Ah, Ramachandran is a Facebook page. That Ramachandran has seven FIRs against him. That elephant has killed so many people. But even then when that elephant comes out, everybody will take a selfie with him. They want to file the eighth FIR. So, like this, Gajendra went into the waters and he started splashing waters on those female elephants. So there was no bhakti here. It is a normal incident. An elephant goes into the pond. And while spraying water here and there, as an act, it just plucked that lotus. You know, it's tied. Some of our heroes, they will take that specks, they will roll. Yada yattam jagat chakram, kala chakram. Then they will put it back. I tried this too, broke. So, here, the elephant plucked that lotus. All the female elephants, they looked at that elephant. All this is there. Now, that elephant turned and wanted to get out of the pond. Enough of water sports. And it three of its limbs came out. While he was completely getting out of the waters, his last limb was caught. He got in the marshes, he turned, he saw his foot was found in the jaws of a very strong crocodile. Gaja akarshate tire, graha akarshate jale, says Dharmottara Purana. One tried pulling the elephant, the other female elephants tried to pull the other three legs. Here, crocodile is pulling one leg. The remaining elephants are prepared, pulling the other three legs. They are called Upakara Shatru. So, uh, enemies in the disguise of friend. They tried pulling. See, this is a normal incident. Trust me, this is a normal incident. If you take any footage from our YouTube, you'll find many incidents where 
crocodiles pull the elephant. You'll see if you go to Masai Mara and all, you'll see it regularly. What is so special? See, there is nothing in this which is worth mentioning where it has to come in Bhagavatam. Bhagavatam is a Vedanta Grantham. Why will this National Geographic Channel incident when the elephant is fighting, crocodile is fighting? The elephant couldn't come out, come because this elephant had a flashback. This elephant was a king called as Indra Dyumna. He was a Pandya king. You may wonder, sir, Pandyas are recent, right? Cholas are recent only after PS1. We know Cholas are there. Chol was there before. Chole, Bature, everybody was there before. Chola. Now, you know, some people will say, Sir, you should call it Chola. See, the Shabdam is a Sanskrit Shabdam. Chola. Chola, Choli. But in Tamil, you have this exquisite letter called La. So, Tamil has this ability. Those of you who appreciate Tamil grammar will know there is an ability in Tamil to import Sanskrit letters. It is called as Vada Chol. And there are certain words called Thiri Chol because some of our great Tamil Terinja Ketu Kolungal Solungal Naka Pudichi Turutan. So, so they will say Tamil Il Teri Uman Angal Sanskritam Pine Padatavadi. Are Swami, you are not reading Tamil grammar properly in Purana Nuru. Nachinarki here comments, there are four kinds of letters. For example, karanam. What does that mean? Reason. We use that in Tamil. What is the Tamil word for karanam? Huh? Karanam. Karanam is a posture in Natya Shastra. Karanam. No, because Nachinarki here quotes. Even in those days, many letters and words were borrowed from Sanskritam and used in Tamil. This is called Vadachul. Certain words are Tirichul. You will take that from Sanskritam and Tamilize it. For example, Stotram. In Tamil it becomes Totiram. This is called Tirichul. Then certain words will go from the Tamil language to the other countries and Tamil people won't use it. For example, in Prachina Tamil, father was called Achan. But that Achan has gone to Kerala and here it has become Naina. So there are many words like this. The point I'm trying to make here is Pandyas existed even during the Purana times. Remember, history is very important. Cholas and Pandyas existed even during the Puranic times. They were the two dynasties that existed then. How do we know? In the third century, Kalidasa in Kumar um, uh, Raghuvamsham mentions while Dasharatha's mother, who was Indumati, her Swayambaram was happening. Many kings from the south come. That time, her hairdresser called Sunanda explains to Indumati. Indumati asks, who is this Raja? She says, Tato Uragapuri Nama. He comes from the city of snake. His name is a Pandya. Because city of snakes means guarded by snakes. Guarded by snakes. Uragapuri in Tamil is called Alavai. So Madurai was called Alavai. And this is a Pandya king. So Pandyas existed in the Purana times as well. So there was a Raja called Indradyumna. Indra Dyumno Nama Pandya Khandari Raja Hasvad Bhaktatma Chandanadra Kadachit Tvatsevaya Magnadhi Raluloke Naivagastyam Praptamati Tyakamam. So Indra Dyumna was one day performing puja, aradhana, Achuta Namaha, Ananta Namaha, Govinda Namaha. He was doing Archana. Very genuinely, sincerely, he was doing that time. His Rakshaka said, Agastya Maharishi is come. Agastya was a Kumbha Muni. Kumbha Muni means born of a pot. I don't want to coax science here, but in vitro means Petri dish. So the one who is born of a Petri dish is an IVF child. So there could have been not exactly IVF, but some assisted reproductive techniques. So he was called Kumbha Muni. Pura Kumbha Sambhava Muni Vara Prapujitam Trikona Madhyagatam Kumbha Sambhava Muni. But the only problem with Agastya was his pituitary gland did not function that well. So he was very short. 
So the Raja Indra Dhyumna was performing Archana Achuta Yanamaha, Ananta Yanamaha, Govinda Yanamaha. When he turned right, he saw Agastya. To wish Agastya, you don't have to get up. You can be seated. So what he did was like what we do. See, for example, we are reciting Sahasranama. Vishwam Vishnu Vashatkaro Bhuta Bhavya Bhavat Prabhu. ुवांस If you are not concentrating on it, you will go on a loop. You will never reach the end. So, Kumbha, this Indra Dhyumna was very careful. So, while he was reciting the Sahasra Nama, he said, "Shri Vat Saraksha, Shri Vasa, Shri Nidhi, Shri Vibhava, Naha, Shri." That he nodded his head. That's all. He nodded his head. Agastya got perturbed. He said. You have not given me a ceremonial welcome. You are nodding your head like an elephant. So hasti bhuyam baje. You become an elephant. That is why we don't even nod our heads today. The Purunjula. I. So he became the elephant. Now who is this crocodile? He has got one flashback. This crocodile was a Gandharva called. फ्लैशैक Elephant and crocodile, but the elephant and crocodile did not know the flashback. Only we know. So this was a regular fight between an elephant and the crocodile. In the story, you learn the very usual. Now I'll tell you where it becomes Bhagavatam worthy. The elephant, which was suffering in pain at one instance, was triggered and it could remember its past birth. I mentioned the name at about huh? Jati Smaraha. So elephant is a Jati Smaraha. It was able to remember its previous birth. It was able to remember the stuti that it had done in the previous birth, bhakti yogam, and then it cried for help to the Lord. This is called Gajendra stuti, beautiful stuti in Bhagavata. But the point is different here. Whenever I have heard of Upanyasam in my childhood. The Upanyasa Upanyasa ka would say, "Po Gajendran al purichuta nam, al madala puricha bodu Gajendran tavicha nam, apo stuti panna nam, apo birmal bandar." But there is a problem here. Now I am. There will be about eight verses where Gajendra does stuti. We have two three problems here. Can elephant speak in Sanskrit? Yeah. Om Adi Vyaktaaya. We have to do V F X to that elephant. Adi Vyaktaaya. Adi Vijaya. Is that possible? No, sir. You are undermining the elephant. Could have spoken. This is not the way we interpret Shastra. See, we go to certain houses. How many of you have pets? Ah. So it is good. Now, if you go to people who have pets. they will not call that a dog cat they will treat that pet as their very own child they have that emotional bond but whenever i go to houses of bhagavata utama i'll say see i am not against pets but the pets pets generally bark only when i they see me thirudana na utru ena paatha andha mari irukku bodhu so it will bark so i'll say keep that no we don't want to tie the pet mallippu that is a name mallippu come here mallippu will come And it will sit beside me on the sofa. It is a trained pet. But you could know. Why not about the other part? Why not? Yeah, yeah. After all, in Upanyasa, so but you could know. Then they will tell the other consort in their house. They will say, "The neat train in the coach." Why not? 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 Why
நாயாய் பிறக்கும் விதியுடையே நாவேனே speaker. See that is the problem for a speaker. If you are a singer, you are at an advantage because the other side they will switch off the light. Kalabu kaladi ninga kanna udin paridu. But upanyasa ka have to keep all the lights on. I have to check who is going when. When did they go out? Ungu labulo na na adu mami ninga nethi yettre ke udinte petele. So I'll keep looking who is got up. When did they go? When did they come back? When did they sit? What indication they gave to their husband? So they will sit in that corner. Husband will sit in the corner. Then they'll say they'll I'll come that side. You don't. He will see us. Abhi tere mo bodi ni gori na rono. All that I have to see, but I have to act as if I'm not seeing. That is it. So body language is important. I'm sure those of you who are in good corporate positions will know. You have to look at your audience and talk. So deciphering body language is an art. Since rishis and maharishis could mind read, they knew what the elephant was contemplating in its mind. They converted the prayer of the elephant in the mind into a beautiful shloka. So this stotram has been created. What is that stotram? The elephant tried telling. Adi mula me in Tamil, Kamban says Adi mula me cause. But you know in Carnatic music, we have great Vidwan here, and there are many people who are extremely talented in music. But to appreciate classical Carnatic music, trust me, you need to have those special ears. you know there are many artists who say we have to take classical music everywhere you take but audience will remain the same it is very, it is not easy to appreciate for example my father has no connection with music at all even in, in the last four janmas he has never had any connection i can i could sense that but i wanted to take him to a carnatic concert i took him see first you sing that varnam then after that you'll sing one small composition then you'll take the main composition and in that main composition you will do one neraval you'll take that line you'll delineate that line you will get into that kama vardhini kama vardhini itself will get confused romba irukkarare po kapi varvidha tuna kali rota ka tutum na tapi varvidhi See, <laughs> போய் பார்த்தேடா கல்யாணியிலேயே இந்த யமனை தொட்டுட்டு வந்துட்டா இவர் எதுக்கு யமனை தொட்ட சோ ஹியர் த पर्सन இஸ் மென்ஷனிங் கிரஹபேதம் फ्रॉम वन ராகா ஹி ஹஸ் गॉन टू யமக யமன் அண்ட் தென் கம் யமனை எதுக்கு இவர் தொட்டர் போய் தொட்டுட்டாளா அப்படினு அலெக்ஸ் பாபு வேற சொல்றாரு சோ நவ இன் தட் நெரவல் போர்ஷன் திஸ் எலிஃபென்ட் சே ஆதி பீஜாய பீஜாய மூல மூல மீன்ஸ் காஸ் ஆதி பீஜாய ஆதி மூலாய மூலாய காஸ் சோ இட் ஸ்பிளிட் தி வேர்ட் ஆதி மூலாய 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 ரேகோ ரேகா 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 Moolam, 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 moolam. That cause word was heard immediately. Saraswati Devi told Brahma, "That elephant is calling you. Get ready." So immediately, Saraswati Devi. What do I carry? So there was some coconut rice of last week. So it was heated in that micro oven and put that into that box with some coriander to go at the top. And then that was presented to Brahma. Brahma took that, sat on Hamsa, and said, "Hamsa, start. Drop point. He put 
lake. Go. Next, Lord Shiva and Parvati, both of them are adept dancers. They were dancing the moment they heard Moola Shabdam, cause. She said, call Nandi. Go. She made some gongkura rice. Next, Shachi Devi. She heard Indraji, Abjaye, Airavatni. So, Airavat, Indraji sang. Indraji took some Fafda, Khandvi, Kepla. Undiyo. Ah, Bija, Yamula, 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 Yakos, Kos, Kos. It was heard. Now, that first word was told. Adi Mula, yeah. Mula is cos, but Adi Mulaya means costless cos. You should be the cos, but you should not have a cos for yourself. Costless cos. That time Brahma retracted, Mahadeva retracted. See, we have a cos, so they all retracted. Naham, Naham, Najaham. So they all said, we all come back. So they all came back home. No, there was a mistake in that audio. It was all Mulaya, not Mulaya. So we came. See, this is not to be mentioned, but still I'm telling you, you're all nice people. In school days, when I used to go to the school, there were certain days, very rarely, first hour, they will inform the chief minister is dead or vice president is dead. You know, that time I used to feel so happy. <laughs> so they used to send us home. And standard, my lunch was the same. And in that middle, there will be that raw mango. Rasa mandala madhye mani dvipa mani maya chitre. Standard 12 years I spent only on curtains. So I used to come home with the assumption that I'll get some good food for that day. But my grandmother eat that same dabba. So whether chief minister is dead or living for me, it may no difference. Now here they came with the same boxes. Saraswati said, have that coconut rice. We eat. Adi Bijaya, costless cost. This Nama was heard in Vaikuntha. Till he heard Karanaya, the Lord did not react. But the moment the Lord heard Adi Moolaya, costless cost. He reacted. How did he react? Tomorrow at 6. So, Gajendra Moksham, Sesha Bhagam, Matsya Avataram, Ambarisha Charitram, Kurma Avataram, Vamana Avataram, and finally tomorrow will dawn the greatest of avatars, which has given Anubhavam across the country, across schools of philosophy, which is Sri Krishna Avataram. So, tomorrow, Towards the end, we have to see Sri Krishna Jananam. It's the grandest of all avatara Jananams that we have known in Sanatana Dharma, to my limited knowledge. So from tomorrow, end will be Krishna Jananam. And from day 5, day 6, completely Krishna Avatara. So Bhagavatam is a beautiful experience. So I'm sure all of you, Astikas, across Dallas, from different parts of the city, are participating on weekdays. We'll Anyone believe there are 700 people on a weekday? You all celebrate even festivals on weekends. But you're coming on weekdays to listen to Bhagavatam, which shows how powerful this Granth is. It, it has the power to attract Astikas. And Sri Vedanta Sabha has done a yeoman service by organizing this. And you're all aware they're also coming up with Samskara Bhavanam. Not any temple. Just a beautiful premises to do all samskaras in Sanatana Dharma. Across the city, you can come and do Shraddham, Punya Havachanam, Upanayanam, uh, Jata Karma, Nama Karma, Simanto Nayanam, Pumsavanam, Antyeshti, whatever, whatever are the samskaras. Because constructing a temple may not be that fruitful because there are many temple competitions. But it is samskaram which is important. So for that, Sri Vedanta Sabha is coming up with Samskara Bhavanam. They need all your support to make this a reality. So please get in touch with the organizers, many Astikas under the leadership of Sri Dwarakanath Swami, and many Astikas are, have taken up this initiative. Please get in touch and understand what best Yatha Shakti you can do to make this a reality. So, with this, tomorrow, 
I'm sure there is more place here. Many of them can sit here also, bring more astikas. You just go to the neighboring house. Follow this method. You knock at their door, they'll open, hold their hand and pull them here. You come and sit and listen. So if they get good, they don't have to come on fifth day. Like that, you try with many people each day. So you'll get new, new audience. Please bring them. Thanks to Vidwan Sri Sriram for having been a great support. So tomorrow, 6.15, Kavita Arkita Simhaya Kalyana Gunashalini Srimate Venkateshaya Vedanta Guravinamaha. I, I want to finish it in two hours, but it is two hours, 25 minutes. You have all sat on in one seat. This is all going to go to Guinness book. Two hours, 25 minutes on the same seat. But this proves how attached you are to Sanatana Dharma. For the attachment and the love that you have, I'm sure by Alvars and Acharya's grace, even 50 years later, none of us will be there. But Bhagavata Saptaham will surely happen by some person in the same city. 50 years later, these children will see. These children will organize that time. The children that you see here, 50 years later, they will organize. There will be some person to do a Bhagavata Saptaha. Sanatana Dharma may not have the money to lure people. It may not have the weapons to terrorize people. But it has one thing, which is knowledge. That Jnanam will continue like waves for generations together. And people who have this worry, don't worry at all. Sambhavami yuge yuge says Shastram, Bhagavan. So somehow this knowledge will continue. It is beyond our understanding, but it will happen. So what you are is an inspiration to the children of the future. So they are very grateful to all of you because elderly people, two and a half hours, people have to go to washroom and so many other things. We all seem to be here. And I pay my obeisances to all the elderly people here who have come and have sat for hours together. I will continue paying obeisances from the four Now we'll be my Kalyana Rupa, 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 Kal